Om Shanti, welcome back to your own channel, see the Sudha truth lies within and today we are going to talk about 13th of May, Godly Blessing, where Supreme Godfather wants us to become completely beneficial for others and for the self. How do we do that? How do we grow in this knowledge and how do we become fortunate enough? Let's find out that. May you increase the fortune of happiness that you have received from the Father the best store of fortune by sharing it with others so what is this happiness which you have received the whole world is looking for peace the whole world is looking for happiness the whole world is looking for answers and God says that when my children are completely degraded in their thoughts in their words and their actions that is what God says as called you or hell on earth when there is hell on earth and my children don't know the answers don't know the way to find peace their own brothers and sisters are giving them troubles and tribulations and cursing them that's the time I have to come down and give this knowledge, impart this knowledge so that everybody becomes stable and peaceful. So, how do we share this knowledge so that everybody becomes happy? That's what God says. And what are the benefits? Let's explore that. So, by sharing it with others. Your greatest fortune is that the Father, the bestower of fortune, has made you belong to Him. Either we are searching for Him, we are going on pilgrimages, we are doing Jap, Tap, Yagya, burning the sacrificial fire or sacrificing in so many different religions we are doing so many different things but yet God says all those things amount to nothing until unless I see that you are capable and you are worthy to receive my blessings and worthy to receive my introduction as to who am I where do I stay how do I look that introduction only I can give you when I come down on earth nobody else no religious father can give you my introduction they can only praise me they can only say that remember me but the real introduction can only be given by the self the supreme being so your greatest fortune is that the father the bestower of fortune has made you belong to him that means he has given his introduction to you and through brahma kumaris we are getting the introduction of who supreme godfather is actually so then godfather says father says that my introduction can only be given by me and that is where I bestow the fortune onto you. People of the world are desperate to have even a second's glance from God. They say that if you look at us, if you just give a glance to us, we will be completely full of peace and love and happiness and all our wishes, all our things will be granted. But just give a glance of yours to us as to who you are how do you look where do you stay just tell us that and we have been doing so much of worship so much of pilgrimages just to know the truth and God says I have given you this truth I am giving you this truth go and take it then God says this is called being fortunate whereas you are constantly merged in his eyes that means God is a soul and soul is also known as the third eye Two physical eyes of the body and the knowledge of the soul and looking at the world through a soul conscious eye is known as having the third eye and God always has his own third eye because he doesn't have a physical body so he doesn't have two eyes physical eyes so God himself is third eye and God says I look upon you children who are following my guidance and direction and I see you and I see you with my eyes so you're there in my eyes and then God says this is called being fortunate. Fortune is your inheritance. Out of the whole cycle, it is now, it is only now that you receive such fortune. If God looks as looks at us, we are looking for God, and God instead starts looking for you and sees that you are worthy enough to bring about peace, love, and happiness amongst other brothers and sisters. So he uses us. Are we fortunate? Are we capable enough to be seen in God's eyes? That question we should ask ourselves. Are we true itself? Are, are we true inside out that God Himself would love to see us, would love to bestow His knowledge to us so that we can distribute and give this knowledge to others so that others can also benefit and God's love and God's light can be on them? Are we fortunate enough or do we want to be fortunate enough? When God says, Out of the whole cycle, it is only now that you receive such fortune. It is now or never. So continue to increase your fortune. The way to increase it is to share it. The more you share it with others, that is, make them fortunate, the more your fortune will increase. In anything in life, we say if you distribute wealth, the wealth will increase. If you distribute food, food will increase because you'll get blessings. God here says when you distribute 
the wealth of this knowledge which is imperishable wealth physical wealth can get perished it can be used once and it will finish off but this imperishable wealth of knowledge when given to others the blessing are countless the blessing keep on coming infinitely and that's what god wants us to do he wants us to remove our curses and increase our blessings by distributing this knowledge to others you too can do that you too can gain the blessings and if you're stuck in your life these blessings will help you out so learn this value learn this knowledge learn the virtues which god is giving us imparting through brahma kumaris and distribute it to others so as to make your life peaceful powerful and blissful with this have a blessed day om shanti